Yeah, hello, Trekkies and Trekkers. Well, it's another day of Star Trek Timber, so let's start our episode reviews off with Suddenly Human. The Enterprise responds to a distress call from a Tellurian vessel. They rescue five teenage members, four of whom are, four of whom are Tellurian, and one human, Jono. Jono keeps to himself, but shows strict obedience to Captain Picard, which together with some unexplained past injuries, leads Dr. Crusher to suggest Jono may have been physically physically abused. Aww. It is determined that Jono is Jeremiah Rosa, a long-lost Federation citizen. His grandmother is a Starfleet Admiral, and he was orphaned ten years ago when his parents were killed in a skirmish with the Talarians. Well, that's a bummer. When the captain introduces the topic of Jono's family, Jono's human family, Jono gets angry. After a persistent effort by Picard, Jono's memories of the attack began to return, and a friendship develops between Jono and Wesley Crusher. A Talarian ship arrives, and his captain, Endar, asks for a status on his son, Jono. What? Ten years ago, Endar claimed Jono after Jono's parents were killed. This is part of the Talarian custom of adopting the children of slain enemies to replace their children who have died in battle. Endar explains Jono's injuries as the products of a boy trying to impress his father by participating in high-risk activities. Picard seems satisfied, uh, satisfied and observes that Endar seems to care for Jono. I don't know about that. Picard knows Endar to see Jono, but when Jono says he wants to, s when Jono says he wants to see with Endar, Picard suspects the boy is afraid to say he wants to stay in the Federation. Endar insists that Endar insists that Jono will come back with him, even if the result is war between t the Talarians and the Federation. Yeah, but you don't want that. Returning to his vessel, Endar calls for, calls for reinforcements, as Picard tries to convince Jono to stay. After Jono receives a message from his grandmother, Picard takes the boy to play a form of racquetball, where Jono breaks down and cries. The crew believes they are making progress with the boy, but that night, Jono stabs the captain. The dagger is deflected by Picard's sternum, and the wound is minor. Phew! The problem where Jono should live now is compounded as Jono has committed the Federation crime. Dun dun dun. When Picard learns that Jono feels he cannot betray Endar by befriending Picard, the captain realizes he is trying to impose his wishes on the boy. Just as Endar's patience is about to run out, Picard contacts the Tellarians and lets them know he will let Jono go back. Jono bids Picard farewell with a Tellarian ritual that is normally reserved for family members. <sighs> That's pretty deep. <clears throat> So wait, let's have some similarities to future episodes from Deep Space Nine. Silly Human, which aired in 1990, has strong similarities to the second season DS9 episode Cardassians, which aired in 1993. Both In both Silly Human and Cardassians, a young male alien is living with the family of another species, who adopted him after the conclusion of a, bat of a battle or war. In both episodes, the adopting family insists on the return of the child, while the biological family also fights for custody. Tensions rise as the question of custody is decided. In both episodes, custody is decided by the commanding officers present. However, the episodes have different conclusions. In Suddenly Human, Captain Picard returns the young man, Jono slash Jeremiah Rosa, to his adoptive father because the young man is old enough to decide for himself with whom he wishes to live, and because it is the only life he has ever known. In Cardassians, Commander Benjamin Sisko removes a child from his caring Bajoran foster family, but it is revealed that he was placed in foster care under false pretenses by another Cardassian. Okay, that's a little weird, but eh, what you gonna do? So, Ross, this is a pretty solid episode, and the whole debate about whether or not uh, uh, someone who's adopted should should be with their new family or stay with their, with their adopted or foster family is kind of interesting, so yeah. So overall, I give Suddenly Human four warp cores out of five. Well, join me a bit as we take a look at Remember Me. So until then, live long and prosper, everybody.